Yo, yo, welcome back, guys, to another day of mentorship. Now, if you guys have not yet subscribed, please make sure you do. There should be a button below. As well with that, if you guys want to connect personally with me, my Instagram link is in the description. You guys can ask me anything. I want to help you guys as much as I possibly can. And then I also wanted to put out there the FX Accelerator, my very first Forex course, is now on sale. There also is a link in the description. So in this video, let me go to my notes. I have a couple of things that I want to go over with you guys. Okay, so I want to go over um, how to actually like set up a chart, what you guys should be looking for, all that good stuff. So let's start with the USD. I'm going to go over with you guys a couple of things that I want you guys to focus on just so you can become better traders. You can start learning more. Okay, so I'm going to go to the candles on this chart. Okay, so with your USD, like I said, there's a couple of things that you guys should be focusing on. And the first thing that you guys should focus on is what currency pairs are you going to be trading? A lot of people, they just trade all these different currency pairs, right? And honestly, that is not a practical approach. What you guys should find is three different currency pairs to trade, okay? And it can be EURUSD, GBP, JPY, XRP, USD. Those are just a couple of currency pairs that are out there. But you guys need to find the currency pairs that you're going to be trading and just focus on those two to three pairs and just trade them. Now, the next thing that you guys need to do is determine what time frames are you going to be trading off of? Usually, most traders are using the one hour, the four hour, or the one day. Me, I like to use the one day and the four hour. The reason as to why I like to use higher time frames is it's one more accurate. The market moves at a slower pace. The candles are opening up every minute, every five minutes, every 15 minutes. They're opening up every four hours. So it kind of helps me as a trader to not get emotional. So when I'm looking at the four hour, I'm just like looking for entries on here. Then on the daily, I'm also looking for how the candles are opening and closing to help me find a, re a trend reversal. So another thing that you guys need to do too, just some basic stuff is start doing your analysis. Like you guys need to also go by this rule. If there's no setup, there's no trick. So I usually look at a couple of time frames to identify a setup is coming, a trade is going to be a valid setup. But right now, I really don't see a clear setup on Euro USD. We are in uptrend. We probably are going to um, continue to go to new higher highs. And the reason as to why I say that is because this point of resistance was recently broken. So you guys can see that this candle right here broke through it. We are now surfacing and price is staying higher above this zone. And now we're probably going to see an uptrend continuation. So now what I look for is where my um, next resistance level is going to be right around here. Like I said, look to the left structure lose clues. Previous support is going to be right around here. So here actually is a setup. I'm going to just show you guys what I see real quick. Okay, so entry will be right here. Um, stops would be at previous support. If we do see this candle close ab right where it is, if it closes above this point right here at 1.11793, then we're going to see a continuation to the upside. So what we're waiting for at this point is I would wait for the daily candle to close. We have about two and a half hours left of this candle. So if it closes bullish like that above that level, then that's where I'm going to look for a buy. And then I'd honestly have my stop loss right here. So hypothetically, let's say that we're going in this trade for a long. We're going to get our long position. We're going to set it up right at the current market price. I like to squish it in just so it's more clear. Okay, make sure that black line is lined up to our current market price or wherever we're entering. Stop losses are going to be brought up to here. So nice stop, 29 pips, that's good. See if we can pull out a 3 to 1 risk reward ratio on this trade. Yep, there we go. So we have um, 89 and a half pips of reward, and then we have 29 and a half pips of risk. Obviously, we're going to round up, so we have 90 pips of 
reward and then 30 pips of risk so that is actually a three to one risk reward ratio it's a 3.0 risk reward ratio meaning that from this point in the market that price to our stop loss and then from that price to our take profit is three times bigger from our price to our stop loss hopefully that makes sense to you guys I know it's a little confusing but that's simply what I did I just found a setup just like that by looking at support and resistance now I'm going to go to USD JPY and your USD and USD JPY correlate in opposite directions so honestly I think that we are going to see a continuation of a downturn on USD JPY just because your USD we're predicting it's going to go up USD JPY is going to go down so now to um, really show us that this uptrend line is no longer going to be an uptrend is we need to break through this zone we need a daily candle to come down hit that trend line and close right around here so I have an alert set if it crosses that level that means that we're breaking the trend but we need to make sure that the market actually the candle actually closes below the trend as you guys can see in the past look at all these candles they're staying above the trend line hit it hit the trend line it had price go and hit the trend line but the actual candles themselves are closing above the trend line so we see a break right here and there is a rule it's a three to five hit to the trend line or support and resistance is going to give us confirmation it's going to break that zone so we have one two three we can see the third hit and we can really see price drop down to lower levels I would say down to support I'm looking right here for support so now let's set this up horizontal line TP stop loss is going to be right here under those pins so we're also waiting for this candle to close right there and we could set this up short position okay let's bring this down that's not right alright All right, so we have 33 pips of risk we're gonna have like a 7 to 1 risk reward ratio here watch Yeah, pretty much 6.8 so this is a really good setup guys I honestly would go big on this trade just because we have 33 pips of risk which is fucking nothing compared to our reward we have 231 pips on the line so honestly I'm about to go into this trade right now and send this to my team but that's what I wanted to go over with you guys in this video if you guys have not yet subscribed please make sure you do Follow me on Instagram, Let's Connect, and then FX Accelerator is on sale. Link in the description. I highly recommend you guys get that course because it's going to teach you a lot more stuff like this, very in-depth, and even more stuff that you guys currently do not know. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next um, day of mentorship. Peace out.